Hi girls, my name is Kelsey and I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own card today. This can be a birthday card, a thank you card, a get well card, really it's up to you. But for today's example, I'm going to be showing you how to make a thank you card for the hardworking nurses out there. For today's video, you're going to need a couple things. One, a computer and access to the internet. And if you'd like to print your card off when you're finished, you'll need access to a word program like Microsoft Word some cardstock, and a printer. And you can borrow a printer from a friend, a family member, or you can go to the public library. To get started, you're going to want to go to canva.com. Canva is C-A-N-V-A dot C-O-M. You're going to want to set up a free account. There's a paid and there's a free account, but you'll only need to use the free account for this video. If you need help signing up, have a friend or family member help you. Once you sign up for Canva and get your account and log in, you're going to see a screen that looks kind of like this on the home screen. Once you get to the home screen, you're going to want to click this called Create a Design. Once you click Create a Design, make sure you click Custom Dimensions. Make sure the first thing that you do is click over here in this drop down menu and switch it from pixels to inches. That way it doesn't get rewritten when you type in your dimensions. You're going to want your width to be 7 inches and you want your height to be 5 inches. So 7 by 5. Then click create new design. This is going to take you to the design panel. There's lots of free stuff here. Free templates, text, elements, music, videos, backgrounds, all kinds of goodies. Before we get started, I want to point, point out a few things. One, if you go into any of the panels and you see something with a little crown on it that says Pro, that means it's the paid version. There are so many free elements out there that I do not think you would need a subscription to Pro unless you just really are in love with something. But even then, just consider, do you really need to pay for something when there's so many free assets that are just as cute and bubbly? So think that over, and if you do decide to purchase the Pro subscription, make sure you talk it over with your parents first. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is create the background for our card. This right here is your design for the front of the card. I'm going to be making a postcard, so a front and back, but we're going to start with the front here. So I'm going to go to background over here, and there's lots of free backgrounds you can choose from. Very, very good amounts. Different colors, pictures, all kinds of things. But for my card, I'm just going to use this background I found here. Cute little background with pink and white little circles. Next, I want my focal piece, which instead of using some of the elements here, I decided to upload my own. And so I can go up to uploads here, where I've already pre-uploaded something, and I'm going to choose this right here. Once you click it, it will go to your window pane, the design screen here. And it is completely editable in size and rotation, and you can even crop it. So if you want to increase the size or decrease the size, you just drag the corner here, and it'll tell you how big it is and everything like that. You can rotate it like this by using this tool down here, and it even shows you which degree of amount of rotation you have. We're just going to keep it zero for now. And you can also kind of crop it if you didn't want her full body, or make it bigger and crop it on the sides by using those little drag straight handles here. But I want the full thing, so I'm just going to leave it, and I'm going to make it a little bigger and kind of drag it to the center as my focal piece. You can upload your own images and videos by clicking this button here and finding it on your computer. Excuse me, sorry. The next thing we want to do is to add some text. So you will go to the text panel here. And there's lots of free templates that are completely customizable. And you can change the font, the color, the size, all kinds of goodies. For this card, though, um, I decided I wanted the phrase, thank you. So I just went up here, and as you can see, my recent search was thank you. And I clicked that, and I found this cool font here that I really liked. 
So I just drag and drop or just click it. And it's too big, so I made it smaller and I wanted it slightly rotated. And I put it up in the corner right here. <clears throat> now, I don't really like the top color here, but the cool thing about Canva is that even though this is pre-designed, I can go in here and I can change the font, the size, or manually drag it, and I can also change the color. So if I hit text color here, you can see that the photo that I put in the middle here also shows up over here where they pulled the colors from it to create a beautiful little color palette of the colors from the picture. That makes my job super easy as far as trying to find something that will complement it. So I'm going to click this color here and click the bottom text and click it again. I'm just going to look and see if I like any other color better. And I think I like this brighter blue color. So that's what I'm going to use for the thank you. Now, I feel like it's kind of missing something down here, so I'm going to find something to put here. I'm going to go to Elements, because it's got lots of cool graphics. And I'm just going to look, and you can explore and click See All, or you can even type something in. So if you type in flowers, you get all these cute little flowers you can choose from. But I don't want to use those. I kind of already know what I want, because I've done this before. Four. so it's saved here and recently used. I'm going to use this cute little flower here. Now I like this flower but I don't like that blue dark blue color. It doesn't really match anything that's already going on here. So what I'm going to do is to go up here and you can see the three different colors and I'm going to choose the blue color and I'm going to change it to this teal color. I think that matches so much better. And I think I want another one but I want the same colors too. Instead of having to go up here and change the color again, I'm just going to hit right click, hit copy, right click again, and hit paste. Or you could do control C on the keyboard and control V to paste. I want this one a little smaller, so I'm just going to drag it down. And it's really cute side by side. And I feel like it needs one more thing to just bring it all together. So what I'm going to do is I've already had selected this, and I'm going to use this as a kind of emphasis on the nurse. Because after all, they're the ones that work out there working hard for us, trying to keep us all healthy and safe. So we're going to drag this out, and I'm going to change the color to something from our palette. I'm going to use this dark red here. And I don't like the way this is overlapping, so I'm going to hit right click. And I'm going to click bring to front. That will put that over this layer. Now this looks works really well if there's a photo on top of something. But text sometimes, as you see, it's still kind of in the way. So to fix this, I'm just going to readjust my layout here a little bit. And that's the beauty of this program. It's really easy to use. And it is completely customizable, reworkable, so I'm just going to keep playing around with it until I find something that I think works. Make this a little smaller. Alright, I think that looks pretty darn good. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click Add New Page, and this is going to create the back of the postcard. You can delete the background, change it, whatever you want to do. But I think for me, I'm going to leave it. But this is the area where you're going to be writing your note to the nurse. So what you're going to want to do is have something to break it up so that you can actually write and it can be visible. So what I'm going to do is go back to Elements over here, which it's already there. And I'm going to go down to Shapes. And I'm going to click this square, drag and drop, or just click it, and put it in here. And I'm going to line it up, and those little lines, the little uh, purple line that you see every now and then, is basically it's snapping to a grid based off what it thinks you want to do. You don't have to follow that if you don't want to, but I do because it helps me get an even amount of space on each side of the card.
Now, we don't want to use this dark red because unless we're using some kind of sparkly paint marker that can show up on this color, it's going to be hard for anybody to read our text. So I'm going to change it to a nice white. And I'm going to set up a divider, some lines to write the address on, and I need to make sure that I save space for postage up here in this corner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to lines here and click see all. I'm going to use this line here to write the address and who it's to. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Line it up and you don't want it on the edge because it just it's a design principle that this just won't look good. You want a little bit of breathing room. And I want to copy this so I can do copy and do paste and realign and make sure there's enough space that I can write between because you're going to be writing here and you're writing between the lines. You can also do the control C, control V to copy and paste. Line it up. And I'm going to do one more. That looks pretty good. The space between the lines all looks pretty even. So now I'm going to scroll down here and find a divider that I had already selected and I'm going to pop it in there. And I'm going to use the rotation tool to rotate it 90 degrees, which is straight up and down. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So now I have my divider from where I'm going to write the address lines and who it's to, and then I still have room for a stamp up here. And that is my postcard. Now once you're done making your postcard and it looks good, you're going to want to hit this download button. Now there's other options that you can choose here in the drop down. If you wanted to email it to someone or upload it to your Facebook or other kind of insta instant media like an email, or if you wanted to share it directly to someone. So because I'm printing out though, I'm just going to download it. So I'm going to click download, and I'm going to choose JPEG just because it's the simplest format that you're not going to have that many issues with. And of course you want both pages, which are already both selected, and I'm just going to click download. And it's going to start preparing my design, aka saving it. It's going to tell me about some premium or ask me to buy something or subscribe and I'm just going to click X because I don't want to and I'm going to click this little thing that popped up here and it's going to have my two pieces, the first page and the second page. And that's going to be in my downloads folder, I think. Sometimes different computers do different things and of course mine did something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to copy them to the documents panel. Panel, sorry. Paste them there. Next, I'm going to go to my Word document here that I set up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the photos. So I'm going to go to Insert and select Pictures. And could be a browse computer, but my version is this device, so I'm going to click that, and I'm going to go to documents. I'm going to find number one and number two, and click insert. And this is going to insert them here. Now, as you can see, they're not on the same page, and when you print this out, what it's going to do to get them to print out like kind of a card is you want them side by side, top and bottom that is, and you want them <clears throat> to be sized the same so they print out correctly. So what I'm going to do is try to size it here. Now some versions of Word will tell you exactly how big it is. And that's so much more helpful than this newer version where they got rid of that. But I'm going to do my best guess. You can kind of see, you know, this is a little bit too small. And you might have to do a couple test prints, you know. And that's okay. And sometimes I had trouble where it would print a little bit smaller, so I'm going to drag it down just a hair. 
And when I hit print, this is going to print on the same page. And you're going to fold it to where this is on the front and this is on the back. And then trim off the excess white pages. And to hold it together is you just put a little bit of tape on the back side of the top card to stick to this side. And it should be lined up correctly where this is the top and you would flip it over and you can write on the back, put your stamp and address it. And that, my friends, is how you make your own postcard. And I'm going to include a link to this card design so that if you want to print it out and send it to someone at the hospital or a nurse or a friend, then you're more than welcome to do that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much and have a good day.